did he just like uh slime it for a second there he did all right i barely he, saw it he turned into goop he gooped him he got gooped i gooped you that was my real plan it's only self sess for nadine maybe see you round hot shot <laughs> Oh. Well, that was a weird morning. You're weird. You're weird. Not gonna deny it was a lot of fun, though. Denied. But I did find out where all of Nadine's sensitive spots were. <clears throat> we might need to try that again. Yeah. <laughs> Lude. Okay, that's enough fantasizing. I've got a good. I've got work I need to do. Quick. This is all started due to faulty computer programs. So I walked down to the basement to do a diagnostic. I'd, I'd been set up. I'd been set up. <laughs> he set us up. But as off. of this moment, I didn't exactly know how. What you say? Hmm. The program appears to be running correctly, but all of a sudden it stopped detecting any unauthorized data on the Boxer's servers. Completely the opposite of the reading it was giving me last night. Boxers must have known I was using the program to keep an eye on them, and set up that trap to keep me silent. Luckily, their plan backfired. Being able to shift into my wife is probably the best outcome I could have hoped for after that ordeal. I'm lucky all the gas didn't overload my gnome and kill me. Why can't I shift into the, why can I shift into Nadine though? She wasn't anywhere near me when I touched the gas. They weren't trying to turn me into Nadine either. Maybe I had one of her hairs on me, and that's what the gas re reacted to? Stray DNA? I'll have to ask an expert later, but right now I need to figure out what those bastards are up to. Got the pussy juice on his dick. The computer program had given me a false reading that led me into a trap. And that could have happened to, for any number of reasons. Dan could have betrayed me and left me, like, left me a faulty program designed to trick me, but it seemed a little bit unlikely. Dan was way too great to do anything like that. Like, oh my god, Dan is just tremendous. Don't, don't be dissing Dan there. I couldn't rule out the possibility, but assuming the program was working correctly, and for some reason boxers knew of its existence, they still had to bait me with Abaddon, but Abaddon, Trada to trigger the program. The only way they could have done that was to reveal they actually had stolen some of Abaddon, Abaddon's data. Whether it be a recent data or old notes from the initial data breach. They were definitely up to something over there, and secretly moving offices raised even more questions. Hmm. <laughs> Russell. Ah! My printer keeps making a weird beeping noise. I need the IT team to have a look at it. We don't have an IT team anymore. They all work at that game store downtown. <laughs> 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 We've lost too many good men to that game store. If only they were working at Abaddon Electronics X. <laughs> so if we don't have an IT team anymore, then what are you doing down here? It's so dark and creepy here. Uh, companionship? And why are you down here by yourself? I'm, uh... Are you, are you looking up for in the dark or something? Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I see you finally realizing the hardships of being male. Unlike women, men have urges we have to take care of. We can't just go look up some pictures of shoes and be happy. Watching porn is part of being male. And is hardwired into us due to evolution. We can't stop ourselves. I'm glad to see you finally joined the good fight too, Russell. High five for raging masculinity. <laughs> High five, self five. I'll drink to that, bro. Oh yeah, that felt good. Okay, I'm going home. See you tomorrow, Russell. Don't have too much fun down here. Oh, you know I will. Holy crap, that guy's fucking idiot. <laughs> Watching porn has nothing to do with being male. You're just a creepy asshole with that awful smug face view. Whoa! What? <laughs> Did I just turn into Jack? Ew. Oh, I'm definitely feeling smaller in the downstairs apartment. 
I knew that guy had to be compensating for something. Why did I turn into him? I mean, did I touch his hand and then thought about it? Do I have the ability to shapeshift now? Is that what the gas did to me? Wait, if I shapeshift, then how can my outfit change too? That seems awfully convenient. I'm fairly certain that's not how shapeshifting should work. Can I change back? Nope. Oh, thank good, I'm not an absolute creep anymore. I need to go have a shower or something. I still don't feel right. So, can I still turn into Nadine? Ah! Why is she naked? This doesn't make sense. I'm so confused. Can I shift from Jack to Nadine? No, that's not doing anything. You gotta go through the intermediate step. Aha. Uh -huh. And shape shifting people I touch now. Go. Why do you keep going like really quiet? Because I, it's required. It's part of the job. Who's there? Who's with There's you? There's people fucking with me. Go. Bed boxes weren't expecting any of this when I flooded Go the room with gas. Day. This could be fun. A whole lot of fun. <clears throat> Is this the puzzle section? Yeah, we have to figure out which transformation goes with which Apparently. person. Apparently. Now I had the ability to shapeshift in people I touched. It was a little bit hard to believe, but after waking up that, as my wife this morning, I was willing to believe anything at this point. As exciting as this was, I was a little bit horrified too. I didn't know if my physical form was stable like this, or whether being a shapeshifter had some sort of horrifying side effects. I had no information to go off of. For all I know, I could be dying. Huzzah. We're all dying. We're all dying. I'm Just not very dying. slowly. I'm not dying. You are though. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No, I'm gonna live forever. You, no, you're not. Oh yeah. Yeah. Try, try me. I will come down there and kill you myself, <laughs> just so you can't live forever. It's not working. It's not working. Dab. Just, just eats the, just eats I'm the. I'm gonna, knife. I'm gonna yeet on you so hard. How can just you like eat, that? How can that you you'll yeet die? on me if I'm already yeeting on myself? Because also, why are you going to yeet, yeet on, on me? More. It's no, no, it's no, no, November. You can't yeet on me. You have I'll, to wait a while. Wait, I'll, December 1st. <laughs> you have 30 days to live without being yeeted. <laughs> Relatable YouTuber gives his friend a death threat on stream. I don't think you're relatable at all. I... I think I'm a pretty relatable guy. You're McFucking Goku. Goku um, is not look, relatable. I'm just like, I'm just a normal guy with butter in his fridge. You keep butter in your fridge? Yeah. That's weird. No, it's not. <laughs> if you don't have butter in your fridge, you're weird. I have it in a butter dish. Is the butter dish in your fridge? No, why would I keep it in the fridge when you it's not keep, in use? You keep your butter outside. Where do you keep your not in use butter? I only ever have as much <laughs> butter as I need. You only ever have one stick of butter at a time. Why would I need anything else? I don't think you can even buy a singular stick of butter. That's <laughs> why so I just take it from other people. <laughs> you steal people's butter? Hey, Russell. Where do you steal it from? Their fridge? <laughs> no, I. How do you think I have so many butters, uh, butter, butter uh, things? What did, what did I just call it? <laughs> butter plate. A butter dish. Butter dish. Yes. I have, I have multitudes I of butter movie. dishes. <laughs> Why? Why not? Because you put the listen. You take the butter. You go to the store. You buy like the four pack of butter. Maybe it's maple. You put one in the dish, and you put the other three. In the fridge, like a normal fucking person. <laughs> Why don't you put it in the fridge? Normal people don't steal other people's butter dishes. I am not normal. I know, that's why you're not, re that's why I'm the relatable one here. You're not relatable either, though. I'm not relatable to you because you're fucking weird. Yeah, most people are like me. No, I don't think so. Yes. I don't think most people are furries that steal people's <laughs> butter dishes. You don't think so? I feel like that's a very small subset of people. <laughs> this game begs to differ. I, you got me there. <laughs> you definitely got me there. Yeah, there's there's a accurate portrayal of the human psyche. You know, everyone having crippling gender dysphoria. 
Except crippling. I mean, who doesn't have crippling gender dysphoria? Jack. Not Jack, apparently. No, Jack Why doesn't does... Jack have it? Because he's like 97 fucking years old. No, it's because he's gay. You're gay. Dude, he fantasizes about Nadine. He does. And he's like... It's, it's a little gay. He's like really, really, really into Russell. Yes. It's like, bro, bro job. Bro job, bro job, bro job. Bro, job. Thankfully, I remember that we'd previously done research on this exact sort of thing a few months ago. So I logged into the old server to see if I could find anything about my condition. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what research documents we have here. Hmm. Oh dear. Ooh. That green haired lunatic dino was looking into shape shifting prior to quitting the company. Man, and I wish I was mentioning being a slime girl. I'm definitely not made of slime, but I do feel really strange when I shift between forms. It's almost as if I am made of slime. Plus, she can only shift between forms she's obtained in the genetic diffusion chamber. She can't absorb other people's forms and touch them and shift into them. Get their DNA. Maybe our transformation powers are different because we were exposed to different triggers. This maybe Russell's she can, but doesn't realize it. That's a scary thought. Either way, according to these research notes, my form should be totally stable. Suppose I suppose I could potentially regress to a slime girl at some point, but even then I'd be able to spend the vast majority of my time as my regular self. Well, that settles it. It's such a minor risk there's with no real consequences that I'm not going to bother searching for a cure. I'm Russell the Shapeshifter now, and boxers will start better start preparing for hell. First hey, quick question. What? We're going to be a little weird. Uh... If I ordered a pizza, and if it came, you would pizza, you pause the video for me to eat? Would I like, pause eat? the video so you could eat your pizza? Yeah. Well, we could probably do that. Or, you know what? We'll go for like another hour, and then I'll do it, and then we can be done for the night. Mm -hmm. but what it's, a good, it's a good amount. How long have we been recording? Don't Tell know. us in the comments. Almost how how long have we been recording for? An hour and 43 minutes and 30 seconds right now. Yeah, so like two and a half hours, right? Almost three. An hour and 43 minutes. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Detail, that's fine. I, sorry, I had a little bit of dyslexia of the ears. I thought you said 30. Uh, wait, no, did you say 43 or 34? I'm 43. Fine, yeah, I thought you said 34. 34? How do you fuck it up that bad? I'm looking at porn. Okay. <laughs> Jack's relatable, okay? Uh, what a relatable character. <laughs> what a relatable like me. character. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I'm going, to spend, I'm going to need to learn the limitations of my powers. I'm not going to, into this unprepared. But where would it be? A, where would a good place to start be? With Dinah. This uh, will work. Uh, do we wait? Where oh. should I start? The mall is full of people going around about their daily business, and it'd be really easy to subtly brush up against someone in a crowd and acquire their physical form. Wait a minute. Plus, I have to worry about jumping. What? It's still Zeke's games. It's supposed to be Zara's games. It is. Uh, they didn't change the sign. <laughs> Plus, I wouldn't have to worry about bumping into anyone from the office here, because they'd all be working right now. You need to find a place with a dense concentration of people, and most of the stores were fairly quiet at this time of day. Wandered around the southern end of the mall for a while, but nothing really struck me as ideal. Huh, must be a slow day around here. Could check out that bridal store. Unless there's a wedding on, I'll probably be even quieter than the rest of the mall. Plus, the shop attendant probably still remembers me from when I brought a Dean her down there last night. Bought, oh, bought, I brought. That video game store over there might work. It looks like there's heaps of people there. I normally wasn't the sort of person who'd willingly step into a store pumping out loud and obnoxious pop music, but it was the busiest place in the entire mall, and my best bet for testing out my abilities. Hey look, it's the DS Mermaid. Yeah, I know, right? Hey there, I'm Zara the Sexy Bunny Girl, and welcome to Zara's Games! Don't tell me you work here wearing that. I'm actually the owner! Holy crap. 
Is today like a special occasion or something? Is there a reason why you're dressed as a bunny girl? I wear this outfit every day. It's kind of the thing we have going on here. Huh. Don't blame me. It was Lynn's idea. Ah, uh, that explains it. So, what can- wait, you know Lynn? Why am I not asking you why you know Lynn? Don't question it. <laughs> okay, so what can I help you with? Uh, um... Give me a high five. Lude. Without wait, any real hesitation. Wait, was that you or was that the game? Jumped up and gave me a high five. I'm assuming it was the game. Because it wasn't me. <laughs> As our hands touched, I could feel a tingly sensation pass through my body. And I was fairly certain I just obtained the ability to shapeshift into this bunny, ch to this bubbly. bubbly shopkeeper. Whoa, that was easy. I don't know, maybe it's niggly again. Maybe, maybe it is niggly. <laughs> Uh, are you going to buy some games now? No. Jabated. <laughs> Jabated. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> hey, this is Zara's games now. I guess. I guess they <laughs> loaded the wrong assets before. I guess. Yeah, there's like a good job there too. Hey guys, go go tell the gender wow. bender team they fucked up. Go tell the gender bender game team that their game is terrible. <laughs> Go buy it though first. Go buy it though. Buy it first and then tell them it sucks. Buy three copies of it. Yeah. It felt like my powers had worked, but I needed to test them out first. Thankfully, the mall was a fairly quiet today, so I was able to find a secluded spot and experiment in private in. Looks like the coast is clear over here. Right, time to try and shapeshift in that bunny girl from the game store. Not entirely sure about how I feel about wearing that outfit like that, but it's not like anyone will know it's me, anyways. Okay, Russell, focus. Yeah, I'm gonna turn into this one. <laughs> turn into Jack. Oh, you don't. I'm turn into Jack. You better. I, I'm gonna. Just, I'm gonna warn you. You might want to not ever turn into Nadine, just Why? as a joke. Oh yeah, just cause naked. Yeah, cause you have to edit uh, that. Hey, it worked. I'm an exact copy of that girl from before. Now, awesome. Oh wow, I can feel these ears twitching. I guess they were real and not part of the costume. Speaking of the costume, this thing is really skin tight. It almost feels like I'm walking around in the nude. All of a sudden, my ears perked up in attention. And my head was full, flooded with voices. I could hear snippets of conversations from across the mall. And it was a completely overwhelming feeling. What was that? Do, do I have enhanced hearing now? Is it because of these ears? I thought the kimonos were just cosmetic. They're not supposed to give you animal-specific abilities. The ones we offer definitely do not do stuff like this. Still, a ability like this might come in handy. I was just acquiring this form as a, to test my transformations, but enhanced hearing will definitely come in handy. Yo, you go, Russell. Well, now that I know that this works, I just need to shift back. And... Hey, Zara. Uh, actually, hmm, how to do her? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Zara. <laughs> ah! I picked out a super sexy cosplay outfit for date night tonight. I know we got kicked out of the last restaurant, but this one actually covers my butt. Uh... And then I've got something super sexy planned for after date night. Let's just say I borrowed a serum from Tyna. Syrup. Syrup. Hey, look over there. It's a teenage girl in a revealing cosplay. I'm falling for this. <laughs> Jabane. <laughs> I was only here to test my abilities. I wasn't trying to pretend to hook up with some random geeky girl with questionable fashion sense. As soon as the girl's back was trying, I sprinted his way as fast as I possibly could. Wait, when did that snake lady cut out <laughs> become a thick? Dude, Dude, that's cute. Have an on electronic sex. Oh, there is that it is. what it says? That, that's what it is. Man, I can barely read that. I Man, need glasses. You can really tell this outfit doesn't have a bra. I keep jiggling all over the place. I've also been a guy for so long, I completely forgot how annoying these things could be sometimes. Yo, shut up, Russell. 
And why is this girl wearing a bunny girl costume without panties? That's a little perverted, and not even remotely appropriate for a workplace. Though I guess if you own it, she can just wear whatever she wants. Ah, back to normal. I don't think I acquired that geek girl's form. And she, and she pinched my bunny girl butt when she showed up. I guess I can only acquire forms when I'm Russell, not anyone else. Looks like there's a few limitations. I can shift into anyone, but I have to touch them first. Just thinking about them or being near them won't cut it. Also, I can't shapeshift into someone else from a shapeshifted form. I can only shift back to normal. I can't acquire any new forms while transformed. I have to try out these forms for a longer period of time to see if there's a time limit. But it's safe to say I can stay in a transformed state for a sizable period of time. Well, boxers, it looks like your plan backfired. You've just given your greatest enemy ridiculously awesome powers. <laughs> it's that's like, dude, that's like the fucking evil bad guy shooting you with like his evil death ray, and it's like, you Mwahaha. cured, my, you cured me. I have no more like, hey, you, hey, you bad my knee or a bad back or like a fish eye. <laughs> all, the curses, my all the curses you've put on me over the years, <laughs> and now I'm also like able to fly too wow they get jobs as being people that go and help uh fix gender pending uh -huh. <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> that they're in here <laughs> like, sounds like quite the lord it's the literal op they're the they're the mortal enemies they're, they're the anti-dino <laughs> <laughs>